and welcome to a little bit more No Man's Sky content here at the Game Hub. And boy, do I have a good chunk for you today. Now, today we'll be checking the power of Polo. Now, of course, some of you may know about this already. However, I guarantee that many of you have no idea about the true power of Polo. Now, this is what you are going to need first of all in order to take full advantage of Polo's power. Get that space butt up to the anomaly and to the Quicksilver dealer. Once there, grab yourself the Polo figurine. That is the most important one, followed by Artemis, second most important one. Then there are the extras. Grab yourself the Apollo figurine, and while you're there, grab yourself the Null figurine. There is a reason to this. Get the Atlas figurine while you're there as well. And lastly, get yourself the Nada figurine. Now also, you're gonna need as many Starship trials as you can get those grubby little fingers on to get as many as you can. Some are Quicksilver, some are from the Expedition Rewards, but get them all if you can. So now that you've got all that, or as much of that as you can, most importantly, Polo and at least four trails or three trails plus Artemis. So let's show you what we can do. Okay, so we'll keep the canvas clean so everything is nice and simple to read. Now 489.2 is the base maneuverability. So let's get this set up now with the plus formation you can see there around the supercharged slot with Polo in the middle supercharged. And you can see now on the right hand side, the maneuverability has jumped up to 646.3, which is a 32% jump. That is massive. Now, if you only have three Starship Trails, you can use Artemis as the fourth to make that final plus formation and still get the 32% bonus. Nice. Now, if we set up the same formation in a non-supercharged section, we're only getting a 12% boost, but it's still a great boost. 12% non-supercharged, 32% supercharged. Okay, now let's take this one step further. If you are someone that does have all of the Starship Trails, and all of the figurines. First, set up all your Starship Trails around Polo and Artemis like so. The multiplication will kick in. Now you can't see it visually, but you are getting an insane boost by doing this setup. So take note. Now for the figurines. If you install Nada, you will reduce your ship launch cost by 10%. If you install the Apollo figurine, you will add plus eight ship damage. By installing the Null figurine, you'll increase your ship shield strength by at least 7%. Now, if you install the Atlas figurine, you'll add 50 light years to your hyperdrive, and you can see that visually. Now, Polo and Artemis bonus are both towards the pulse engine and maneuverability in general. Now, something that is worth touching on is the Starship Trails themselves. They do have a priority order, no matter what order you try and place them in. So Chromatic Starship Trail will always show as your primary trail if it's in. If you don't have that in, the Cadmium Starship Trail will be priority. If that's not in, it will be the Emerald Starship Trail that takes priority. Then if that's not in, it will be the Starship Trail and so on and so on. It's going there in a clockwise direction. Now, as you can see from my ship here, because I use all of the star trails, the priority trail for me will be the chromatic trail. But luckily, I generally fly in first person view, so it doesn't bother me, meh. Now, the ship today that I'm showing you all this in is a ship called Red Scorpion, which is now officially my fastest ship, thanks to those four supercharged slots all over there on the right hand side. Now, my planet surfer, ship hunting ship, uh, I want max speed to get around quickly. Now this has smashed my previous fastest, which was Seeker, uh, that had a maneuverability of 3200. This has a maneuverability with all the bonuses in of 3746, wow. So all that's left now is to show you this ship in action. Now, as you can see with all these boosts, surfing across the planet's surface, we're getting a luxurious, gorgeous speed of 757. But wait. What's this? Pump it into the engines. The power, 821. Wow. Now, this ship is just absolutely insane. It turns beautifully, it glides beautifully. The power is insane. 821 you once you have diverted the power into those engines on top of everything else. Now, this is a planet surfer. Now, the best thing is my pulse mods and not even maxed out yet. 
So when they are, oh, I'm long in the day. I'm long in the day. Now, as always, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And if you've got any questions about anything at all, just ask in the comments and I or someone else will try and help. If you've got anything to add to this discussion, put it in the comments. Let's discuss it. See you in the next one.